there we go. Um, but if you, um, oh yeah, uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. I can't believe I did that. Um, but if you messed up on the spacing of the eyes and then you put the glasses in there, they will point it out very well. <laughs> Um, so that's a little difficult, but I'm going to give her some lace. And lace is, um, it's not as hard as a lot of people think it is. You just, and then if you want lace, you just make these little shapes. And it looks like frills, and then if you put in dots, it can look like lace. And I know that's probably cheating, but personally I think whichever way will help you as long as you're not actually cheating like you know tracing over someone else's drawing or something because that's bad that's really bad tisk tisk well I don't think we're going to give her bangs I think we're going to just give her long hair wavy hair. A lot of people think that characters with glasses have to be the nerdy type. But they don't have to be. They're not in real life. Um, there are a lot of very chic people with um, glasses. Like me. <laughs> okay, bad example. But <laughs> um, There. Glasses do not have to be specifically reserved for the slightly nerdy, slightly wallflowerish kind of people. Um, it does help, you know, if you pick the right kind of glasses to bring out the right kind of character. Um, like for this one, I picked very, you know, simple, very simple style of glasses. And she's got, you know, very basic hair. Um, it's pretty, it's lovely, it's, but it's not, nothing's done with it. It's not obviously curled, it's not anything like that. And I forget for the darkness of these videos, um, my webcam is not very good at this. <laughs> but, um... Okay, uh, <laughs> um, that's about all I can think of. For blonde characters, a lot of people will put these lines of shading in, and I think that's actually pretty nice. It, I think it gives it a nice kind of look, if done right. On wavy hair, it's a little hard, but especially if it's very wavy. But it can look really nicely. Really nice. I just I can't talk today. I'm half asleep. I'm sorry. There we go. There we are. And there's our second madam. Shoujo lady. Okay. Um, now we're going to do a three quarters view of the more adult shoujo woman. It's basically the same. Um, Older women have more defined jaw lines than younger, those younger. So, um, you can do just the straight line, I suppose. Um, a lot of people will actually put the little straight line right there to show that there is a jaw. 
and um, sometimes the circle won't get it. There's the back of the head, of course, and you'll want to put that in there. It comes behind the ear, not to the ear, like here. Um, and the neck comes out from that. The neck is never straight down. That will make it look very stiff and very unrealistic. It's never straight down. See, this is where the head will come back, and that's all behind the ear. And people do have foreheads, so you want to put this sign in there, show that there's forehead. But I'd do something a little bit, just a little more traditional, you know, with the big eyes and the... Because my eyes tend to generally stay small, so I thought I'd try going with the big ones and... <laughs> There's a cheat when doing three quarters view if you don't want to draw the other eye, but it should only be done if, you know, it's believable. Um, like right here, this might be too small to actually get my eye in and make it look right. I'm sure you could do it if you were a master or even better than me. It wouldn't take much. <laughs> um, but one thing to do is to simply shade it. And you should only do that if something is probably going to be just about in front of it, like the hair, or say you were bringing this little wisp here, you know, um, that's another way to do it. But it should not be relied on. A lot of people rely on that, and that makes their art look unreal, and of course it's unreal, of course, but still. I'm going to try and put in this eye here. As you can see, it's kind of hard. Um, I'm really not very good at these eyes. Mm. That looks ridiculous, but that's alright. You know, you just gotta learn and grow. Practice, practice. And we're going to connect the eyebrow and the nose there because they really are pretty much connected. Well, they're not really connected, but they look like they are on a three quarters view. Give her long eyebrows. And lips. I like on three quarters view because I think they're fun. I don't do them. I do them more just the shape than I do the actual lips themselves. Because I just think it's fun and it can come out looking very nice. And you can shade that her you'd like. And all it is is um, it's just this kind of and over and down and, and bring this one around. 